underlying your reaction to the uh, government's water charges, uh, the information we released about them today? Well, what I would say about it is that the government have been turning on a spit on this uh, and they've been trying to find a way of uh, saving their skin, particularly the skin of the Labour Party. Uh, and what's happened today is simply a fig leaf to pull over the Labour Party to cover them until after the local elections and European elections in two and a half weeks' time. The announcement, uh, the announcement that the stand in charge or the proposed stand in charge would be dropped the announcement that, they, that there will be a free allowance uh, is simply playing with figures because the same amount is still going to be recouped in water charges. What they're simply going to do is charge an extra amount, an extra rate on the water used above the free allowance. The, sa the same amount of money is going to be brought in, 530 million is going to be brought in, it's going to come out of taxpayers' and householders' pockets, it's not going to come out of anywhere else, and ordinary householders are going to be hit. And worst of all, uh, with the free, so-called free allowances that are given, the people who are low paid, and there are more and more of them, people who are in employment with zero hour contracts, they're going to be hit with the full water charge. People who are unemployed are going to be hit with the full water charge, and many other categories. They're talking about a waiver scheme, and the waiver scheme will be simply like the bin, the bin charge waiver scheme of a few years ago. Once they get through an election cycle, the waiver scheme will melt, and the waiver scheme will be no more. So simply what they've done today is a smoke and mirrors job. Uh, they've tried to cover themselves till after the local and European elections uh, to get by till then. And it's clear the government have no intention of announcing the final figure until August. 